今から浮きます With Chainsaw Man Part 2 right around the corner, literally tomorrow as the day I'm recording this, I took it upon myself to reread Part 1 for brevity's sake and just to get a refresher. But upon this reread, I kind of realized something. Among the antics of Aki, Power, and Denji, I kind of realized something that I didn't realize previously within my first read of the series. The world of Chainsaw Man is horrific. Taking a closer look at the world building that Fujimoto builds within Chainsaw Man gives you kind of a morbid thought process on how this world actually works. Works. Within the first chapter of Chainsaw Man, we are introduced to devils. Beings birthed by human fears. Stated by Makima a little bit later on in the beginning of Chainsaw Man, all devils are born with a name. The more that name is feared, the stronger the devil. Pretty easy to understand, basically, go to Wikipedia, look up a phobia, and it basically has a devil. But there are smaller fears that do exist within Chainsaw Man, so it's not that basic. Devils in their entirety do not like humans whatsoever. They like humans to be in agony and pain and fear, and truly any negative emotion. In a way, you can kind of view it like this. Devils are kind of like the apex predator on earth to humans and it takes a kind of special human to defeat a devil depending on the devil they can be insanely powerful some having the ability to destroy whole buildings with their voices and can probably be at scaled most city block level to a large building level practically at the start of the series but of course it depends on how much fear they have surrounding them while devils in themselves can be extremely unique and independent on their own there is a bit of commonality between all of them if a devil is weakened or damaged by giving them a drop of really any blood, it's actually not really stated well if it can be human blood, animal blood, or even devil blood, they can automatically regenerate and heal their body. And in some cases can just come back from literally being a flesh pile. Not joking, by the way. And even if you do manage to kill one, they technically actually never die. It's kind of weird to say this, but they're like a concept. You just can't kill the concept around that fear. You might be able to destroy the physical body, but not the idea. They will literally respawn in hell, fight another devil, possibly die then get respawned back onto earth to cause more havoc but there is a bit of grace in that sea of despair a devil if killed will actually lose its memory so you can have a sigh of relief for now but there is a slight catch to that some devils are semi-immortal and immortal so basically if they are defeated in battle and given blood they will literally just come right back up so to give a tldr you're basically dealing with semi-immortal beings that cannot die whatsoever have the ability in some cases to destroy and level entire buildings if they so choose and cause havoc to the population of earth and if defeated will just come back eventually i hope you're starting to realize why i had an existential crisis while reading this manga again if i lived in the world of chainsaw man and had to deal with the ever constant idea that a literally near nigh immortal being that has the ability in some cases to destroy and level entire buildings just walking around that can't be truly killed yeah i would be uh i would be a bit scared a little bit frightened in my opinion and since devils are wholly unique they come in all different shapes and sizes there are technically three classifications of a devil maybe a fourth but we'll get to that one first the form people perceive them as example here would be the bat devil a large winged creature of the night within the universe's chainsaw man i guess people apparently perceive bats to be very large and scary so of course that devil is going to perceive to look like that it's the fears that surround them that kind of make up their look next of course would be the devil fiends now these seem to be the most common at least on panel since there is a lot of them these devils usually take over the bodies of dead humans and proceed to use their corpse as a vessel it's said they might not be as physically strong as their actual form before taking this corpse but they are still devils and can still you know do a lot of damage so they are not trustworthy at all they might look like a human but they're not human they are not to be trusted now the third classification of a devil doesn't technically have a name in verse but the fan like me myself have given the name hybrid devils i'll explain why they don't have names later in the video so just stick with me these devils seem to be the strongest being the fusion of a human and a devil an example here would be denji and puccina adding the ferocious and powerful abilities a devil has on top of a human's intelligence and overall creativity makes a terrifying hybrid being but luckily this hybrid devil form isn't very common and isn't probably publicly known still doesn't make it better you still have to deal with devil fiends and regular
regular doubles, probably on a near day-to-day -day basis. Just an FYI on that, it doesn't make it any better. Now, coming up on the fourth classification of a devil, Primal Fears. Now, this is a weird one to explain, but basically in a real-life case, all humans are hardwired and coded from birth to have certain fears for certain things, the darkness being one of them. The Darkness Devil is such a powerful creature within Chainsaw Man, its sheer presence alone makes other devils shake in fear alone. It is a being that has never once experienced the infinite death loop of a common devil. Now, care to imagine a being like that just treading upon the earth if it ever were to happen in Chainsaw Man? Yeah, I I, I don't want you to think about that because it, it'd basically be a landslide victory for him since, well, even hybrid devils like Denji himself and Quan Chi, and we'll talk about her very soon, basically got completely washed by this thing. It is truly a cosmic horror type of entity within Chainsaw Man itself. Almost forgot to mention this, by the way. If another devil were to proceed to eat a stronger devil, they actually get a power boost. And within the actual series, once eating the darkness devil's flesh, you gain a massive increase in fear and power. So yeah, uh, it gets worse. So yeah, devils are pretty damn scary and very monstrous, being nigh immortal killing machines. So basically, if you were a regular civilian, uh, I would fear for my life every single day. No ifs, ands, or buts. This is this is not a good world to live in whatsoever. And you know what? It would totally suck if Fujimoto wrote in social commentaries about world governments and how power works in actual real life and implement them in the story somehow. <laughs> Enter China, the USSR, and the USA. Within the world of Chainsaw Man, you can actually make a contract with a devil. Depending on the terms and conditions of this contract, if you give a lot to this devil or give it very little, you can actually obtain a large amount of power or very little from this devil. There are a plethora of examples within the franchise and the series in general of people literally giving up a large portion of their lifespan or body parts to obtain some type of power. Hell, even, technically some nations just straight up hire devils, like they're on the payroll or something for that week. And this totally makes sense within the world of Chainsaw Man. World War II and a further extension of that nuclear weapons have been completely forgotten about in this world, thanks to a certain individual devil. This now means there is a power vacuum to be filled, and since devil contracts are probably a lot easier to make than nukes, this clearly fills in that spot of power. But a caveat to this is technically any nation can do it. It's actually kind of at least verbally stated and kind of mentioned that really truly any nation can actually have a squad of devil devils underneath their command. So basically meaning that the Cold War in this universe is a lot more complicated and a lot bigger, and probably has lasted a lot longer since technically the Soviet Union was disbanded in 1991, but this timeline is clearly taking place in 1997, meaning that devils have completely altered this timeline. I know a lot of my younger viewers might not realize this as I'm clearly a history buff and I like to know about these things, but the Cold War was a very important point in human history. Two very powerful nuclear nations going at it and very small strategical wars all across the world and at any time can throw nuclear bombs at each other that could possibly send their civilizations back to the stone age and affect everybody around them. Now imagine that, but with nigh immortal devils and more than two powerful nations at any given time. Heck, it doesn't even stop at global nations. Yakuza in Japan are actually using devils in their, you know, rings and stuff within the world of Chainsaw Man. So it actually just goes a lot more deep and apparently anybody with any sense of power will actually use devil powers to gain something. An example of that would be Japan's Hunter HQ and how they actually try to use devil powers to, you know, control the devil population within Japan. It can be assumed other nations in Chainsaw Man actually have their own Hunter HQs, but that's just up to speculation for now. Now, coming to some of the major players within Chainsaw Man, there is quite a bit for each nation, but I'll kind of give like a TLDR and kind of the more notable ones within each one. Starting off with Japan, we have Denji, Makima, Kishibe, and even Aki to a certain degree with the future devil. In China, we have Quan Chi and her devil fiends. Now, of course, Quan Chi herself is a devil hybrid that we actually don't know the name of. It is assumed to be probably either the crossbow devil, the arrow devil, or the bow devil. With an extremely powerful devil fiend, the cosmos devil, who has the ability to give literal infinite amounts of information to a person, basically turning them brain dead. In the USSR, we have Lady Rize, who has the bomb devil, a devil hybrid who has the ability to mimic 
bomb-like abilities and more or less explosions. She was strong enough to take on a large majority of Japan's, you know, senior devil hunters and most likely has more allies thanks to her time in the secret room in the USSR. In Germany, we have Santa Claus, a being so renowned and known among across apparently the world nations that even Makima and Kishibe even take notice that he's actually going to show up. And good thing they did because he proceeded to wreck all of their shit and effortlessly beat them because he planned ahead. And lastly, the USA. From what we know, the USA doesn't really have anything. They have bounty hunters and stuff within their borders, but nothing crazy as of yet. But we do know they will pull the gun devil trigger if need be. And since we're on topic about the gun devil, we know that inverse the gun devil is probably one of the more powerful devils on planet Earth right now in the series. It's able to effortlessly destroy buildings within seconds of it literally just showing up in a single place. And several nations want its ability, giving credence to a Cold War scenario with devils within this universe and trying to secretly power it up behind public eye. So add that upon everything else I've said in this video and you basically come to understand this universe is fucked. So how could it get any worse? <laughs> Being the control devil, she wants to control everything and kind of get the self-satisfaction of being an equal to the chainsaw man. With this idea, she proceeds to, you know, conquer the entire world. Basically playing 5D chess against multiple opponents at the same damn time. In the pursuit to make a world without certain fears. To make it perfect, quote unquote. And she's probably one of the strongest devils in the series. She actually makes a contract with the prime minister, basically making her nigh immortal because if she were to get hurt, or get sick, she basically swaps that, you know, damage with a civilian of Japan. And in 1997, there is over 127 million Japanese citizens. She has 127 million lives to burn through. On top of the fact, she is able to control multiple people with their own contracts with devils, making her very, very powerful. Basically, by the end of the series, all major nations except the USA basically give up. And the USA is able to draw their final card, the gun devil. And it's technically assume that she loses but it's probably part of her greater plan to lose she basically causes an scp end of the world class scenario against all major nations in the world by herself basically with an a numerous amount of devils on her side that are all extremely powerful she basically has a devil hybrid task force come full circle with this video i explained in the beginning that devils are some of the strongest things in this world and kind of almost dominated in a certain way and coming to makima she literally straight up conquers it for a little bit mind you and it probably was unknown for a majority of the population of earth thanks to denji and puccina as their combined forces make the chainsaw man a mythical folk hero in devil society who has the unique ability once consuming a devil will literally erase them from humans minds completely basically making denji the only person to actually kill a devil permanently on top of the fact that it erases the concept that came with that fear if he actually used it right because well you know makima still came back maybe it has to be the actual big version of him to you know destroy something and not the human version of him but to be honest i'm not trusting a 16 year old with this kind of power but it's still nice to know that there's a person like denji within the universe of chainsaw man to be at least some kind of protector because in its entirety denji is a very small glimpse of hope in a absolute sea of despair well i hope you like that chainsaw man content i have brought to you today uh, i would like to actually do more and i would love to see your guys reaction in the comment section down below i genuinely do like this series a lot and i would like to cover it a lot more since a lot of these characters are pretty in depth and pretty powerful so i would like to power scale them in the future uh, regardless like comment share subscribe stay hydrated see you in the next one ladies and gentlemen